Listen and report it. Brick Art Medium Podcast Studio. I'm your host, producer Melvin Isaac, a Vietnam era veteran. There is a television show coming out right now. Right now, based on a true story. But this is a special you are about to listen to. Right now, it's not based on true story. No, no, no. This is the true story. Hold your breath. This is a very special episode, a story behind the story. We are calling it the Vietnam era veteran voices. And I can't wait for you to find out why. But fair warning, this piece does reference words for minorities that no one should never use. But even if these words are used at the highest level of government, it still isn't cool. All right. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I say your name. Do you solemnly swear? Support and defend defend. the Constitution of the United States States. against all enemies, enemies. foreign and domestic, domestic. according to regulations, regulations. and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. justice. So help me God. So this show, this radio listening audio that you're going to be hearing is very, very good, very excellent because it's going to let you understand what happened to veterans once they, uh, well, it's going to start up what happened when they came into the military, when they was drafted uh, around that era in 1962. And then it's going to bring you into, after they did their tour, uh, what happened when they came back home uh, and how did they feel? Because a lot of them came back home, they wasn't accepted because it was a lot of protest that was going on. Uh, the country really wasn't feeling that war. So the veteran got the the bad, the bad lash behind that. Uh, they wasn't debriefed. So a lot of them had a lot of psychological problems, post-traumatic stress syndrome. Uh, a lot of them felt really deep into a deep hole after that. Vietnam is not our war. We must say no. So you're going to hear a lot of st- stories that veterans are going to be sharing about why uh, they became homeless. The United hey, States ain't right doing nothing all. for us, man. Right we busted our ass. We went over there to an army to kill. And 99% of us got killed, and we didn't get nothing for it. They give us a piece of paper that says to us, we're a Vietnam veteran, and we can get disability, and we can get this, and we can get a job, and we ain't got We don't get a money to get welfare. You understand? So I got the veteran. His name's Roger Schultz. He served in the Marine Corps from 1918 to 1995. So he's going into my programs. There's a bed immediately for him. He's getting his life back together. He's been living out of his truck for the last couple of years. He's homeless and I'm just trying to get him out of his truck into a bed. So, um, can you tell me again what you did in the Marine Corps? Yes, I was in the United States Marine Corps as a cannoneer. Uh, I was a sergeant for quite a long time. A lot of people look at it as bad, but I always don't know. I love my service. You know, I came from a very broken, broken home, not much family support, so. Yeah, so I joined the United States Marine Corps, and it was all good from there. So I learned how to be a Marine and nothing else. Do you miss being a Marine? Yes, I do, every day. 
You always had somebody on your side? Always. Oh, that's some, uh, the pride. Some we used to call it called the uh, Esprit de Corps. Oh, my, I got other Marines for my family. And then my wife left a year after that. And I didn't know what to do. I was working on getting my life back on track. That's pretty much when I fell into an extreme flashback. Went, went into an extreme flashback. Went right back overseas out in the field and could not get out of it. Me and the sheriff's had a few run-ins a few times. Mr. Schultz is going to our Sacramento program. So it's basically they're going to work on his income, his health, and uh, his housing situation. It was uh, it was hard also for me to get back to civilian life. I mean, uh, attempted suicide three times. And uh, I was homeless at one point when I first came back, just like in Roger's situation. Being homeless sucked. Thought the country, <laughs> thought this, the country gave up on me. This job saved me, because I mean, I know 40% of the employees here are, are veterans, so everybody understands the veteran here, and uh, it was just the perfect working place. So what do you see for Roger? Success, because he wants it now. I mean, yeah, he's had his hiccups, his bumps in the road, but he's at that point in his life where he's 50. You know, he's ready to, he wants to relax, I hope, and just work and, and enjoy the rest of his life. Let's hope so. We got hope for today, put it that way. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a link, or I give you information how you can reach out to this radio station, because I'm going to have it on uh, Sound uh, SoundCloud where you can hear it, uh, but it's going to be a way where you can reach back out for your comments. And possibly uh, we can also have a veteran come here personally to share his or her stories about what they've been through and what they're going through right now. So we want to thank all our veterans for their service to this great country and also the help that is still they still need at this time. And uh, the last part is this voice is very needed at this particular uh, time uh, that we are undergoing with the uh, federal government being shut down because you have a lot of politics going on here. And uh, it's affecting everyone now. And uh, we definitely going to hear veterans speak out uh, about that situation. So, without further ado, here. Home when you look. You're right. Your daddy was home when you look. You're right. Your sister was home when you look. You're right. Your brother was home when you look. You're right. The dog was home when you look. You're right. The cat was home when you look. You're right. The fish was home when you look. You're right. Your mommy, your daddy, your brother, your sister, the dog, the cat, the fish was home when you look. You're right. And that's the reason you look. You're right. I left my home. I left my home.
know you can make it. I know you can make it. I know you can take it. All the men in the green beret. All the men in the green beret. Something's how he earns his pay. Something's how he earns his pay.